Wisdom, the final frontier to true knowledge. Welcome to Wisdom Trek, where our mission is to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. Hello, my friend. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your captain on our journey to increase wisdom and create a living legacy. Thank you for joining us today as we explore wisdom on our second millennium of podcast. This is day 1342 of our trek, and it is time for our three minute mini trek called Humor Unplugged. Our Thursday podcast will provide you with a clean and short funny story to help you to lighten up and live a rich and satisfying life. Something to cheer you and provide a bit of levity in your life. We are told in Proverbs chapter 15, verse 30 A cheerful look brings joy to the heart. Good news makes for good health. We are also encouraged in Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit saps a person's strength. Consider this your vitamin supplement of cheer for today. So let's jump right in with today's funny, which is titled, The Lost Pilot. Hank was flying his Cessna 182 one late afternoon when he got blown off course due to a prevailing headwind. Once he was able to make the correction and get back on course to a small hometown airport, he realized that he was over a military base and very low on fuel. About 8 p.m., just as it was getting dark, and as his plane started to sputter due to lack of fuel, Hank spotted a runway in the distance and headed that direction so that he could make an emergency landing. Hank tried to talk to the tower on his radio, but received no replies. What Hank did not realize is that this was a top-secret government Air Force base. As soon as he landed and brought his plane to a stop, Hank was quickly surrounded by armed military police and roughly taken inside for interrogation. Their interrogation was grueling because the Air Force commander wanted to make sure that it was an unplanned landing and he was not a spy or a terrorist. The interrogation lasted all night as they tried to break Hank and get him to confess. At 6 a.m., Being reasonably confident that Hank was not all that bright and did not pose a threat, they finally refueled his plane and let him go with the promise never to return. Wouldn't you know it, though, four hours later, Hank returned and landed on the same runway. Military police once again met him on the runway and surrounded his plane. This time, both Hank and his wife Margaret got out of the plane with their hands in the air. The commander strolled out to the aircraft with a stern look, and his loud voice bellowed, Hank! Why on earth would you return? I made it very clear that this was a restricted air base. Sheepishly, Hank said as he looked towards Margaret, I know I promised never to return, but I brought my wife Margaret, and now you have to convince her where I was all night. I hope that brought a smile to your face. If it did, pass that smile on to someone else. We could all use a kind smile. And our Thursday thought is, My job is so top secret, Even I don't know what I am doing. And our verse for today is Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 14. God will judge us for everything we do, including every secret thing, whether good or bad. And just as you enjoy these nuggets of humor, please encourage your friends and family to join us and then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to any of the past 1,341 treks or read the Wisdom Journals, they are all available at wisdom-trek.com. And I encourage you to subscribe to Wisdom Trek on your favorite podcast player so that each day will be downloaded to you automatically. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. And as we take this trek of life, together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and then leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to... Keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow for Philosophy Friday.